There was a team of five people who worked with Ken in the Connecting to Care program, including Lori and Nicole. Lori is a registered nurse and Nicole is a social worker. Tell me a little bit about why Ken got into the program. We had a referral from um, another program in the region called Eagle Moon and he was getting some support from them but not in the medical way so they thought maybe we could help. They put in a referral to us and he gave consent and that's how we started with him. We met him in the hospital. He's talked about how this has changed his life. Can either of you speak to what it is that made such a difference? Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. I think that we had the time, we were a pilot project when we first started working with Ken, and we really had the time to focus on building the relationship with him and really understand what his healthcare needs were. Uh, Lori worked really hard with him on kind of figuring out and connecting him to the places that he wanted to, that he really needed to be connected to. Before connecting to care, how often was he using the system? Why was this not an ideal way to approach health care for him? He didn't really have any continuity of care per se. He had um, sporadic visits to the hospital, the ER, because he did need to go there. He was extremely ill, but he didn't have anybody spending a lot of time explaining his chronic conditions. They were very new to him and they're very, they're very scary, they're challenging. You need a lot of support and he he didn't have anywhere to turn and as Nicole mentioned time is so critical with with being able to establish a relationship spend the time to educate and build that relationship of trust and it was a wonderful partnership working with him. Nicole this was a pilot project so what happens next when you see a success story like this what happens going forward? It sounds like we're permanent and moving forward, which is a lovely thing because there's lots of other people like Ken out there who need a team like ours. Why is it such an important thing to get them into a Connecting to Care program? What changes? What, how does it benefit the overall health system? It's a holistic approach um, first. It's where the client's at. That's, mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing is the client identifies what they need not what we are trying to achieve as a goal. It's what is their goal, what, is, what are their needs. As Nicole has said to me many times, the social determinants of health are so critical in a client's well-being. And so we start with the ground up between the social and the medical and a holistic approach with the help of Eagle Moon to do the spiritual support. And then we were able to connect them to a family physician, chronic disease management, I would do three to five visits a week in the beginning because that's what he identified he needed. Uh, it's great. Yeah, and not everybody fits into the traditional framework that healthcare has, and so our team tries to work in a little bit more of an informal and non traditional way um, because sometimes that's just what people need. What's some of the background of Ken of how he was using the system before he got connected with Connecting to Care? How often was he being in the hospital, or what was some of his history? Because we didn't know him prior to, I know he would use it when he got extremely ill. So he was mm -hmm. probably in and out quite frequently, but he, um, he would go when he absolutely needed to. He didn't know where else to turn. He didn't have anybody to support him. His family was unaware of the chronic conditions and how that was impacting his health. And oftentimes with chronic conditions, you will kind of hit the wall suddenly and realize how very sick you are and you do need to go to the hospital. Fortunately, Eagle Moon connected him to us and we were able to start a really wonderful working relationship mm -hmm. between our team and theirs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're always accessible for him as well. So I mean, even when he's doing really well, we're always there if he has other questions that come up. We don't you know, discharge people from our program like some of the more traditional ones do. Tell me more about how social work fits into this kind of treatment and what you do specifically. Well, we try to, it's really that balance between medical and social, and it's really depending on kind of what that person needs at that time. Things we will try to focus on, you know, their mental health, substance use, um, housing, access to food, some of that stuff, doing some advocating in the, in the community, um, hooking them up with different community resources and that sort of thing. Great, thanks for your time today, ladies. Thank you.